Hey, Paul, welcome to TrendLizard.com. This is Ryan. Um, glad to have you aboard, and thank you for sending me, me an email to take a look at your first round of um, stocks and ETFs and whatever else it is that you want cryptocurrencies uh, for us to analyze using the Elliott Wave Theory, which is obviously what we do at TrendLizard.com. We take a look at price charts, apply the Elliott Wave Theory to them to understand where they have been in their progression over time and where their price might be headed in the future so that we can trade it when things go up. Um, and your timing is good as far as asking for Bitcoin and Riot. Those are obviously two, uh, Bitcoin being a crypto and Riot being very connected to that. Uh, we are getting ready to roll out a new crypto and stock, individual stock service at trendlizard.com. So uh, historically what we've done is we've just done ETFs, but we are going to roll out this new service uh, sometime within the next month and cover 10 cryptos and 25 individual stocks every month. So uh, for all of you who are interested in that stuff, come visit us sometime over the next month and you will see this new service. Uh, enough pitch, let's get to the uh, three tickers that you sent me. First one being Bitcoin, BTC, USD. Uh, the next one, MGTI, which is MGTI Capital Investments, and then Riot, R-I-O-T, Riot Blockchain. We're gonna start with Bitcoin because it has made some big statements lately and it's something uh, that needs to be updated. So. Obviously, incepted in 2014, had a very large, massive headline grabbing move from 2015 to late 2017, gave us a large counter trend ABC pullback into the 2018 low, and since then has been in a, a slow starting but still trendy up move off of that 2018 low with the first wave, a second wave down, and we have been in that third wave advance off of the 2020 low. So, the question we have to ask is where are we in this progression within wave three uh, so we can understand what direction it's going to take and when. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this action off of the 2020 low. Uh, the initial up leg was a clear five wave move uh, for wave one, wave two down ABC pullback, very large third wave advance. And since then, it has been a grind in 2021. Uh, initially got an ABC pullback into, I believe, July's low and then a recovery that actually set a marginal new high above that previous high, but has faltered in a big way. Now, when we've looked at this in the past, the question has been, did this complete wave four and was this the resumption uh, or was this the fifth wave advance to complete that larger third wave advance or would a larger fourth wave correction pull back or, or play out before uh, the pullback completed? Uh, and over the last week or so, there have been some bearish developments on that front. Now, Elliott wave theory, super basic, nothing fancy to say. Trends play out in five waves. Counter trend moves play out in three waves. Those are our biggest tools when analyzing price using the Elliott wave theory. And if we look at this up leg right here, it very much looks like a three wave move. So if this is a three wave move, it has to mean this isn't a trending move. This is a counter trend move within a larger counter trend pullback. And that is what appears to have happened. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Here's a closer look at that up move off of July's low. Again, we know this is a counter trend move. It has to be because it was completely retraced, this down move right here, by this up leg here. So we know it's a counter trend move. The problem is, again, the three wave nature of this up move right here. It looks very clear, very obvious, hard to find any other way to label it. And what can we do other than trust the charts? If that's what we're doing is using the Elliott wave theory, it looks like a three wave move. The implication of that. If this is in fact a three wave move and we are getting a larger pullback off of that high in early 2021 is that we should see additional weakness as it moves back towards the low for this pullback. Now, what we've seen a ton over the last couple of years off of the COVID low is that it never really sets a new low, it tends to get in that area and turn higher from there. Maybe the same thing will happen, maybe not. Point being, this looks concerning. If we're looking for trendy five wave moves, this looks like a three wave move, not a trendy five wave move. And that would portend a larger ABC pullback, as you can see here. So that is a concern there. Uh, in order to change that and give some hope that maybe something different is happening, we would have to see a move back, back above 60,000. That would make this a pretty clear three wave move to the downside. And then somehow we could, uh, you know, maybe that can reinvigorate the chart. But as is, the objective take on Bitcoin is a bearish one because of this three wave move to the upside, which suggests that uh, additional weakness is coming before it turns back up based on the LA wave theory. Let's go on now to MGTI, MGTI Capital Investments. 
here's a look at this guy. Um, not sure what it is you're looking at here. Uh, I hope I got the right stock. Obviously, this guy has been in an absolute free fall. Uh, at some point, I'm sure with uh, reverse splits and things of that nature, it was trading at 36,800 back in the 90s and is now trading at two pennies. Obviously, a downtrend. This thing is an absolute mess. The only way that this would be an interesting investment is if this nice pop off of the 2020, late 2020 low is trendy. And there's a reason to believe that for some reason, this massive sell-off has ended. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that move. It does not fit the bill. There is no way for us to be bullish on this or to see uh, anything positive to the upside. If we try to label that move as a five-wave move, it doesn't work because there's overlap between waves one and four, which can't happen, and wave three is the shortest. So we can't even label this as a trendy move. Even if we forced a trendy labeling on it, um, the pullback then should have retraced 61.8% or less of this up move. It did not. This would have been a 61.8% retracement up around 12 or 13 cents. Instead, it has continued to, to descend back towards the low. Nothing bullish about it. Wish I had more information for you. I wouldn't touch it. Uh, doesn't look promising in any way based on the LA wave theory. All right, so let's go to your last one here. We're going to take a look at Riot Blockchain, R-I-O-T, off of the 2007 low when things really got interesting after this initial action here. Obviously, this was a good move, but the biggest move has been this down move. It was a nice trendy five wave move. Now this could have marked a major low and kicked off a brand new long-term uptrend. That's a possibility. But what we do know is that this down leg here into the 2020 low looks important, looks complete. Um, obviously uh, it would take a lot to confirm that the overall uptrend is up. This yellow area here shows a Fibonacci retracement of this entire down move. So we won't know for a long time if this is in fact the start of a new long-term uptrend. Nevertheless, we can trade this action off to 2020 low and see what's um, going on there. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this price action. It looks bullish to me. You had a nice up leg in mostly 2020 in late or early 2021. And then we've seen some pull pullback in 2021 as have, has happened for a lot of things. This looks like a completed five wave move. I think we have to accept that. Just based on the size of what's gone on to the downside here, this looks like a correction of this nice five wave move here. Um, the problem being this correction does not yet appear complete. As we uh, looked at with Bitcoin, um, it's a pretty simple proposition. We're looking for three wave moves versus five wave moves. Obviously, we want to trade in the direction of five wave moves because those dictate the direction of the trend. So with that in mind, um, the good news is that this does look like a counter trend move. This is a clear three wave move to the downside here. If price would have turned firmly higher from there, that would have been great. Uh, the sky would have been the limit. However, that's not what happened. What's happened off of May's low is we've had a lot of back and forth action uh, that looks like a three wave move itself. The direction of it being more sideways fits more like a counter trend move. All of it adds up to be a B wave. So wave A, wave B with the expectation for a C wave down before this big counter trend move completes. Once it does complete, things are going to look really good. You're going to have to expect trendy upside action, um, but you have to wait for that C wave down to complete before it's in a position to resume that real strong type movement that we saw back in 2020. So let's zoom in just a little bit, just to flesh it out a little bit more. Again, everything about this move looks like a counter trend move within a larger uptrend. It just does not look complete. Again, very clear. Looks like a three wave move off of May's low. It's gone pretty much net nowhere for several months. Uh, the implication, if B wave is over, that this is going to head lower, should move back to May's low, uh, maybe a little bit below. Who knows? It's been a little bit funky again in this uh, move over the last couple of years. It's been hard for C waves to continue to new lows. Whatever the case may be, it doesn't look complete. And if it were to turn higher here, before it heads lower, I would just think it's a larger B wave. There's just nothing to bite into that suggests this big counter trend pullback is over and the uptrend has resumed. Now, once we do get a move to a new low and start seeing some trendy upside action, just small five wave patterns on a small time frame, this becomes a tradable proposition. Um, but as is, I think you have to wait for that larger pullback to form. So, Paul, I hope that is helpful. I look forward to doing this for you uh, as we go. Uh, as always, if you have any questions about what we do, about Elliott Wave Theory, about the market in general, send me an email. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.